Welcome everyone. Tonight we're going to fly out to Heathrow Airport in London, England to talk about the newly built Terminal 5 and what happened on its opening day. So why build a new terminal in the first place? Well, British Airways had three primary needs. They wanted to maintain their ranking as the number one airport in Europe. They wanted to improve scalability as air travel is expected to double by 2027. And they wanted to take advantage of economies of scale. Here's Willie Walsh, CEO of British Airways, to talk about the vision. This is the best thing that has happened in, in, in a long, long time. It will transform the experience for our customers at Heathrow. You know, it, the difference in T5 one year from today is going to be staggering. And people will notice a much, much more pleasant experience going through the airport. Ultimately, British Airways wanted to make Heathrow the greatest airport in the world, and they had a number of specific objectives for Terminal 5. They wanted to increase passenger capacity, cut transfer times between flights, and move all British Airway flights to Terminal 5 to take advantage of economies of scale. Now this was going to be a big project, and they wanted to deliver it on time and on budget, so they had to find innovative ways to reduce risk. So let me tell you some facts about the terminal and the project. Terminal 5 is the largest freestanding structure in all of Great Britain. It has 110 aircraft stands, in over 17 kilometers of bag conveyors. The project cost a staggering 8.5 billion US dollars and lasted for over 22 years involving 60,000 people. 163 IT systems were implemented via 180 IT suppliers providing over 400,000 hours of systems engineering. So how did they manage such a big project? Well the project was broken into four major phases. The planning phase began in 1986 and lasted for 15 years. This included a four-year public inquiry process for added transparency and feedback. The design phase began in 1989 and also lasted for 15 years. This reflected feedback from the public inquiry and also the realities of September 11th. Design involved advanced computer modeling for facilities and IT systems. The construction phase began in 2002 and lasted for five years. This included the application of innovative processes such as just-in-time construction material delivery and low-risk contracts with vendors. The operational readiness phase lasted for six months and involved over 15,000 volunteers to test every aspect of the terminal, along with advanced systems emulations to test the new baggage handling system. The project was actually delivered on time and on budget, and excitement began to grow as the opening day approached. Terminal 5 is very important for British Airways because for the first time in almost 40 years we'll be able to have our core operations under one roof. So it will give us a much more efficient operation and we will be able to give our customers the standard of service that we've aspired to I'm give. I'm delighted to be here at Heathrow today to join these special celebrations and formally to declare Terminal 5 ready for business. So is Terminal 5 ready to open? In a word, no. T5 was plagued by a number of logistical issues. Employees coming to work on their first day at T5 found that the car parkade was closed when they arrived. Other employees that did get into the parkade later in the day ran into issues of poor signage in the parkade and a lack of employee designated parking stalls. However, the parking issues were just a precursor to the major IT failure of the baggage system. To further add insult into injury, many employees could not log into the various computer systems to carry out their assigned activities. 
Many of the elevators in T5 did not work, and the transit system to shuttle passengers from T5 to other terminals at Heathrow did not work. So what were the consequences of these IT failures? Thousands of inconvenienced travelers due to 250 cancelled flights into Heathrow affecting British Airways and other interconnecting air carriers throughout the world, and over 23,000 misplaced pieces of luggage. The result of all this was a loss of reputation for Heathrow and British Airways, as well as a drop in share price for British Airways. This incident was summed up by the British Airways CEO Willie Walsh with the following soundbite. Our finest hour. You know, we disappointed a lot of people. We've clearly learned some lessons from uh, some of the issues that went wrong early on yesterday morning. Uh, we did get off to a better start today, and we just got to keep focused on. This. So why did this happen, and how could it have been prevented?